What up, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. Today we're gonna cover AWS. <laughs> Programming, gaming, fitness, Jesse Warden. Or Amazon Web Services. It is a way to do cloud engineering where you build stuff and deploy it to the cloud. It could be front end. UIs, user interfaces that you see, could be software you don't see, like web services, APIs, batch processes, streaming architectures, blah, blah, blah. So many fun toys, and we're gonna cover strictly just the serverless parts of it and some of the things that are common and hybrid between them. Things like S3, AWS Batch, Lambda, Step Functions, SQS, SNS, those kind of things. We're not gonna cover server stuff like EC2 or Kubernetes. That's all stuff for people who like servers and stateful architectures. We're gonna cover stateless and serverless with a little bit of functional programming thrown in. Why you would wanna do this is that a lot of companies are moving things to the cloud. Other people are moving things to the cloud or starting new projects and they wanna build new servers, new websites, new APIs, whatever. And so they have to make a choice of where they deploy that. For large companies, a lot of them want to use an established cloud provider, something like Amazon or Google or Microsoft's Azure or even Oracle, which is getting there. A lot of those clouds that people want to use, they have services. And what you'll find is that if you're outside of a large company, smaller companies, you'll actually have companies that build smaller cloud offerings on top, like Zeek, for example, or Vercel and that company. A lot of other companies that kind of abstract AWS away, but we're going to do the raw AWS. We're going to do that because a lot of it, some of it is simple enough that you can tackle. Other is extremely complex and you probably want to look at some public offerings. Some of us who work in large companies can't use those. So if you want to learn AWS and you want to be highly employable, it's one of those skill sets that every company is definitely hiring for. They have confidence that you can do it without certifications. They want to actually see some work. So you can build some stuff, throw it online in a GitHub or show, take some screenshots and say, look, I've actually built stuff. I don't need a piece of paper or certification. I've actually had fun and got my hands dirty and built it. I've been in front end, doing front end UIs for about 12 years or so. And I've moved a little bit more towards the back end, a little bit of a you know, front end and back end. And I got to say, it's really, really fun and empowering that Amazon solves all the hard problems that someone like me doesn't really like. I don't like Unix. I don't like servers. I don't like deploying things. I don't enjoy any of that. I just like writing code. It's been fun doing back end APIs, but I don't like actually deploying the APIs. I just want to write the code and see it work. It's nice to have a company like Amazon solve all those hard problems, solve the problems of maintaining servers. So someone like me can just build things and have fun. I, I love it. So hopefully you will too, after you go through these lessons, you'll see even just the basics enable you to really build a lot of sophisticated things. And it's very fun. And Amazon is such a large company. They constantly release new things, new toys all the time. Existing services get better as they iterate. That's why I enjoy it so much. I find it really, really fun. Most of this is going to be in Python just because it's easier for people to learn. I'm traditionally a JavaScript guy, a functional programming guy, but prerequisites. You have to have an Amazon account. So just go sign up. It's free. Now you're going to require a credit card. We might spend a little bit of money here, some cents, some dollars. So don't be afraid if your credit card gets like $5 on the free tier. That's okay. It's what's going to happen. Just don't worry about it. Second, you need to have the AWS command line interface installed. They have instructions for installing there. Lastly, we're going to install the SDK for Python. So however you use Python, I'm not covering that because Python Python's runtime is garbage. The actual language is amazing. I'll let you figure that out. But those are the three things you need to get to understand all the things I'm going to cover in this course.